Hello America, my name is John Q. Public, and I'm here to discuss the situation that we have with the United States of America. Frankly, I think it's a mess. Although I can't speak for you, I personally am deeply troubled with what I'm currently seeing. I'm troubled with a nation that produces more food than any other nation in the entire world, and yet we have Americans that go to bed every night hungry. I have a nation that has the greatest health care in the entire world, and yet most Americans can't afford to use it. I am concerned that my friends, neighbors, relatives don't have good jobs to go to. But I think the thing that concerns me the most is that we have the greatest, richest nation, and we can't pay our own debts. Something has to change. We have to come up with something better. So who or what can make the change? Well, we could turn to our religious organizations, but they are very busy right now taking care of the needy to start with. I don't think they're going to come up with any solutions. We could certainly turn to our House of Representatives, our Senate, and our President, but they seem to be completely inept and incapable of coming up with any solutions. So how about if we turn to big business? Well, they're so focused on greed that they no longer can be trusted, and they don't have any solutions. So here's what's going to happen. It's going to come down to you and I. We Americans are going to have to solve this problem. Well, I'm here to tell you I am an American, and I have solutions to some of these problems. The solutions will incorporate transportation, technology, energy, finance, but most of all, they will encourage new freedoms for the individual American in this country. Now look, I realize that I'm not the only one with solutions, but my solutions are real and they will work, and that's certainly more than my government seems to be able to do. You see, we've got to make some changes. We've got to get outside of the box. Our government and big business is telling us that we should do the same thing the same way over and over again. But somehow we're supposed to expect different results. You do understand that this is the definition of insanity. I think we need to change directions altogether. We need to think outside of the box and make new revelations in the directions that we're going. So if you will give me some of your time, I will start to show you ways to possibly save the United States of America. To start with, we have to make three changes. They have to be done very quickly. We kind of have a time limit here. The first, we have to create jobs. Not just a few jobs, but millions of jobs. 12 to 14 million jobs need to be done almost instantaneously. The other thing that we got to do is we got to tell our government and ourselves that we've got to stop spending money. We have spent ourselves into oblivion. There is no way we can pay it back, at least not in the near future. Last but not least, we must solve the energy problem, if not just for ourselves but for the world as well. In dealing with energy, you must remember that the United States consumes more energy than any other nation in the world, and yet we only produce 25% of it. So we have to shrink our consumption and make energy tenfold what it is today. So the first place we're going to start is with energy. The reason we're going to start with energy is because Energy either involves or revolves around everything we do, both financially and emotionally. Without energy, the wheels of industry come to a complete stop. So when we start with energy, we have to start with some basic things to take a look at. The place to start is with EVs, electric vehicles. Now, you're going, why are we going to start there? There's a couple of things that you need to understand. First of all, your government and big business absolutely, positively 
do not want you to know the truth about electric vehicles. That's EVs. That's these things right here. Electric vehicles are faster than your car that you're driving today. If you don't believe me, go do a test drive at Tesla. They'll show you a car that will go 208 miles an hour. Electric vehicles are cheaper to manufacture, cheaper to maintain. They use far less energy. And they can do everything that your car presently does. Except one thing. They can go about, oh, 50 to 80 miles. And then they basically run out of electricity. Now you see, if you're a city dweller, you don't have a problem with this. You see, most cities aren't but about 60 miles across. So if you have to go to the grocery store, the bank, to and from work, the electric vehicle is going to work just fine for you. The only problem with electric vehicles is the minute you want to get out of the city and you want to go to another city or visit grandmother in the, com in the country, it, it's not going to work for you. And I've got ways later on down the road to show you how that's not a problem. So if we can get over this hump, we have the one major thing that we have to deal with, with electric vehicles. And that is that they're job killers. You see, if one out of every 16 Americans was to flip to an electric car tomorrow, we would lose about one million jobs. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think the United States of America could stand to lose another million jobs. So the EV concept, the electric vehicle concept, is sound. We just have to figure out a way to solve the job problem. That's this up here.